morning guys today's date is 2 2 2 february 22nd and it's my first video let me stop playing with my hair it's my first video back on youtube i guess you could say it's only been like a month but i've been studying and i passed my exams and stuff so that's a whole other story that i'm gonna do a life update on but right now i'm gonna do my morning routine it's currently like 8 15 i think i forgot i just looked at the time but it was like 8 15 but as you can see i'm not ready at all coffee every day but today i picked this up out of my fridge i had some leftovers in it i don't even know there's probably like this much in it and this is what i'm drinking well i sipped it and i actually feel like super awake i was gonna journal next that's what i'm gonna do that is something i do every day but usually i have like coffee and i'd be like half asleep and i look in my planner and i have this piece of hair that keeps sticking out it's so annoying but I haven't fixed my hair or got dressed or anything yet. As much as I really want to make an aesthetically pleasing video, I'm really trying to be realistic. And realistically, I don't get ready right away. And so after I journal, plan, and like write whatever, like I need to check my calendar, you know? And I'm gonna be honest, if I stay home, I usually don't get ready, but like I really, really want to. But um, there's a few things you can do. I just wanna give you some ideas. You could write, if you don't know what to do today, like if you feel like you don't have anything to do, maybe you go to school and don't work, or maybe you don't work and you go to school and you're just like at home. You can like make a list of like things that you could do today while you're at home all right i'm gonna today i'm gonna do a brain dump which means you just write whatever comes in your head and you just dump it out on the paper today i actually don't feel like stressed like i don't i feel good today i feel good about today so but i'm still just gonna write whatever's in my mind It is currently 10.35 in the morning. Um, I want to show you my outfit. This shirt is from... Oh, shoot. Um, actually, where did I get this shirt? I don't know where it's from. I don't know if it's from Pretty Little... It can't be from Pretty Little Thing. Or for... I want to say Shein. But, like, I need to look at the tag. Because I think... I, yeah, I think it's Shein. Because I know I got these pants from Shein. So, I'm wearing a black crop t-shirt that says shut up and i'm wearing some black sweatpants and on the back there is skull hands on the butt area and my shoes don't really matter because i'm at home and these are house slippers only but i'll show you anyways these i'm wearing black socks and i'm wearing these slide slippers that are from victoria's secret or pink whichever and then i'm wearing these plugs i keep wearing these not because they're my favorite 
but because they're the only ones I can get in my ear every day because I don't wear my plugs all the time like I used to like to bed and stuff so they kind of shrink up every night and then I can't fit like nothing will go in except these because these are um have round edges so it helps them to slide in when I move it up with tea tree oil and then I just did a little slick back bun I wore it up because I'm going to be cleaning the house today and I can't clean with my hair down like unless it's like out of my face somehow but even then I just I hate cleaning with my hair down so yeah now I'm gonna make myself something to eat So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finally make my 2024 vision board So I actually printed these pictures out I printed out these different pictures actually in the beginning of January Why I didn't go ahead and make the vision board was because I didn't finish the vlog So I had vlogged myself I was in my car and I was going through Pinterest and I was picking out the pictures And then I was in the library and I vlogged myself printing out the pictures and i think i vlogged myself in target when i was when i was picking out my wood frame corkboard thing um i wanted to do the method where like the girls they would like glue their pictures onto a whiteboard or like a cardboard or something i don't know i don't know i felt like this way was easier because i had a lot of thumbtacks so i was gonna see how it looks i mean if it doesn't if i don't if it doesn't appeal to me then i'll probably go to the store um like i'm gonna see if i need to print out more pictures i don't know am i do i like the fact that they're on paper instead of like actual photos printed out i honestly like i just don't know how i feel about it so we're just gonna have to wait and see okay so i have some pictures oh you can't really see like a picture of an ipad with the camera reading outside which is funny because i just read outside got like merch packages 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year self-care romanticizing your life just pictures of like how i want my life to look like okay so right now i'm in the car i'm really about to just go to walmart and print out my pictures i don't I really want to try to make a like a canva collage and then print them out on like one big poster okay so update i've been at walmart for like an hour and i'm waiting for my poster to print out they didn't have it where i could do 17 by 13. she said that they have it like you can customize your dimensions of your poster or your picture or whatever but they don't have the like right size printer to print it out i guess um so i couldn't get the exact size that i wanted um my wood frame i'm gonna just call it a cork board um my cork board was 17 by 13. So I really wanted to get like 16 by 12 or like 15 by 10 or I mean 11 something like that so it would just be a little bit smaller than the a little bit smaller than the frame if you know what I mean. The closest I could get was 16 by 20 and 20 is like kind of long so um but luckily they did have the option where I could click fit into photo. I think it was called so like it kind of has like a white border on the top and the bottom okay so i'm back at home now and i'm ready to do my vision board so i didn't feel like setting up my big tripod so i'm going to try to do it like this um just watch me put it together and then once i put it together i will show you this looks pretty big but fit you know i'm just now realizing when it said 17 by 3 it meant 17 peaches stop it meant 17 width and 13 height i thought it meant i don't know why i thought the 17 was the height technically i could have put the board what is it called uh vertical i could have done this board vertical now that i think about it and I actually was in such a rush that I forgot to add 
two pictures that were actually really important goals but i guess i'll just do it next time peaches is eating that one chai is playing with this one now it fits yay i finished it it looks really nice i just need to take some pictures with it um for my thumbnail and i might post it honestly Of course it's, it's, it doesn't. It's not, it's, these are none of my pictures. <laughs> these are not my pictures. <laughs> Stop. These are not my pictures. <laughs> I wish I had wonder if that was on video. It's actually probably like a week later. Today is February 27th. And I try to wake up early this morning. After I went to bed at like 1 or 2 in the morning. So that didn't really happen. I mean, I got up, I made breakfast at like five in the morning and packed my boyfriend's lunch. And then I was playing Animal Crossing because I just got back into that. I charged it and I got back on it. Um, So I did that for like an hour. And then I was just like, I'm so tired. So I ended up taking a nap until 10 o'clock. Um, I still feel kind of tired, but today, I mean, I clean every day, but I want it to clean for this vlog. If I'm not deep cleaning, but I know I need to like, there's some things that need to be clean. I just can't remember at the second, but like, I'll just go into the room, like living room, kitchen, whatever. And I'll just say, okay, I'm gonna clean whatever looks dirty. Also, I know it's the end of February, but if you see like Christmas bins in the background, just ignore them um i feel like we need to get another big one i bought a small one thinking it was gonna be enough but it's not and i've been meaning to like maybe rearrange them to make them fit without buying a new bin but i haven't done that either because i'm just like i really just want to buy the bin so i can just throw everything in it because obviously these you can't put a lid on them because they're too full
okay i did some cleaning it's about to be two o'clock so i'm gonna hang up my vision board so i have decided to put it right next to my bed our walls are really empty there's so many different places i could have put it at i'm just gonna hang it up now i've had it cure i think the word is curing but i don't really know these command strips have been on here I'm getting really really stuck because i didn't want the whole thing to drop and fall off okay so i'm gonna be hanging it right here above my our very old nightstand well it's not even a nightstand it's literally i don't know a dresser Okay, so I've got it up on the wall now. So now I'll just give you a little... I did forget to put some pictures on here that were honestly important to me. That were... It was kind of like a smaller goal that I know I could actually do this year. Because <sighs> this is supposed to be a 2024 vision board. But let me show you what I mean. So we have this one. For passing 100,000 subscribers. Could that happen in a year for somebody? Definitely. Do I feel like it will happen for me? I don't really think it's a smart goal. I was gonna put a one that had a cake with 10k on it because I'm at like 6.4k. I think that 10k at, by the end of this entire year, if being consistent, I think that's a smart goal. Like that's, oh, what's the word? That's not tangible. That's reachable that's so for 2024 some of my visions are vacation so i've added this is supposed to be greece don't know if i'll get to go to greece however these two represent vacation um i do want to go to greece i just don't know if this year is the year this is a bonfire this represents the fact that i just want to have a bonfire with friends and family this represents i want to build my upper body more um then we just have this picture of tan lines because i just want to tan more in the sun um this summer like outside in my yard this represents like self-care um reading in the car i don't i just like the aesthetic of it with the sunset in the car it looks very chill um this one is like another another one related to this one it's just reading because i want to read more and just the vibe looks very cozy it looks clean in there and then we've got books so i'm definitely really into self-help self-improvement this represents that so far the only book i have like this is atomic habits and i still haven't finished it we have a mercedes because i really love the interior of mercedes and that's the car that i want not this one exactly but i want a mercedes and then this represents if i ever come out with a product of my own we've got this right here with the ipad editing it just rep reminds me you know and motivates me to edit make a good thumbnail and i wanted to put more pictures but i was really 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 in a rush so that really sucks this is just gonna have to do for this year just kind of guides me on the path i want to be on then we've got this quote people give up because they think about how far they have to go instead of how far they've already gotten that speaks a lot to me consistency one day at a time you will never be ready just start when i read this i think about youtube i think about how i want to have the proper office for editing the proper i want an ipad for editing i want what's it called um final cut pro for editing and all of those things cost a lot of money just to have the setup and i actually just read in atomic habits when you like tell yourself okay like i just need to do this and this for me to get to here in a way you're kind of making excuses for yourself that way you feel like you're making progress like oh i just need to do this and that but really you're just scared of failure so you're kind of like procrastinating in a sense you're like oh well before i can really post on youtube consistently i really need an ipad so i can make good thumbnails when really like i can make them fine right now but i'm like i need an ipad for that you know like because on the ipad it'll make it bigger so i can see if i stuck with that and really ran with that i'd probably never make another video because like i wouldn't post my videos to get my income i like it it's not how i wanted it to be though because i was rushing and i had to wait an hour for this to get printed out at walmart i'm going to get ready for the gym now the last part of this video is going to be a life update so if you don't care about my life you could click out of the video now okay so now i'm doing the life update portion of the video i made a list so that i have 
some sort of order to what I'm talking about that way I'm not rambling so I'm just gonna get straight into my life update so my first segment is what I'm up to so what am I up to right now I just finished studying I renewed my personal trainer certification I also got certified by the same I don't know if it's called brand or company I don't know so I'm certified by American Council on Exercise and through them I also obtained my fitness nutrition specialist certification certification I studied for like three months reading I had to read like 17 plus 17 so like whatever that is chapters and take some quizzes on it and pass it so I did that and that's why I haven't really posted on YouTube like that because I've just been studying. I didn't really want to edit, I just wanted to study. I am personal training on my own now, so I don't work for a gym anymore. Um, this happened quite some time ago, but I haven't said it aloud. I'm working on my own now. I don't have that many clientele, but I do make income from YouTube. It's not super steady, but it's getting there. If you don't... No, um, I live with my boyfriend and we've been living together for almost four years now, but we've been together for almost 11 years now. In the summertime, it'll be 11 years. Um, I'm basically now, I'm gonna go back to making videos. Um, what else I'm up to? I'm trying to read more, especially self-help or self-improvement type books i really like those it's just sometimes focusing is so hard like i'm pretty sure it's not just me but like i really like the book but trying to get myself to start is like and really read like take in what i'm reading but then once like i keep going and going i start to get really into it and i want to keep reading and reading so trying to do more of that i do daily life things like go to the store cook clean you know that's basic living things that every adult should be doing <laughs> the next segment is career slash studies i kind of already mentioned that being a personal trainer is a little bit hard um or should i say challenging for some clients they really want they want to make this change and they know like because they want and usually it's because they want to look a certain way and you tell them what to do and how to do it and like all of that you know you make a exercise program for them to follow um but they usually don't fully keep up with it so it's kind of hard to gain more clientele when you're trying to get like your clients right now to like get results so you can use their pictures to get more clients but that's the challenge of it like making their programs is the easy part whether they have had an injury or like surgery or whatever after they get doctor's clearance of course making their program and, and you knowing exactly like i know exactly what you need to do but getting them to follow through with it is the hardest part and it's like i was going to take another specialist program on behavior change so i can get better at that i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna do that i guess what i'm trying to say is i'm questioning if it's for me i really always loved working out and stuff for like the last four or five years I liked it for me I, and I wanted to help other people who don't have the knowledge to like teach them what they need to do and stuff and like I still like that I like knowing what I know and being able to apply it and stuff but the only challenging part is getting them to like and I'm also I've been slouching this whole time <sighs> I'm just sit up straight so as far as career goes I'm questioning a lot of what I really I will I'm questioning what I really want to do. Next, YouTube plans. I started YouTube in 2017 and I gained 6,000 subscribers in my first year of posting, but I fell off in 2018 and I have been stuck in the 6,000s ever since because I don't post videos every single week like I used to in 2017. But my plan for YouTube is I'm trying to post once a week that's what I want to do. So I do have a goal to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And I'm already at 6,400 something. And I got that like within my first year. So I just, I know what I, I know I could reach 10,000 by the end of the year if I kept posting. So my next segment is an update on my microbladed brows. I drew my eyebrows on today. I've been drawing them on even after I got them microbladed. 
because I got them microbladed in October and they looked really good for like the first week but after that they were fading away so and I don't understand why because I follow the rules because if you know I don't have any eyebrows so like I really want my eyebrows to stay the microbladed ones like I want them to stay I want eyebrows of course I'm gonna follow the rules but for some reason mine faded away like horribly and when I went back for my touch-up she even seemed surprised like she seemed like shocked like that doesn't really happen she was like oh my god your eyebrows are gone and i was like i know i don't know if this was supposed to happen I feel like it wasn't but yeah we did a touch up and we did we added shading and it helped them stay a little bit better which you probably saw somewhere in the middle of the video when i had like a white t-shirt on i didn't have them drawn on but you could see the faded shadow of like the microbladed and i do feel like that lasted better they didn't fade as bad as they did the first time but they're still pretty faded so like i'm back to drawing them on she said that i'll have to get one more touch up in the combination style which is what i got you know the, during the first touch up so i'm gonna do that and hopefully it stays if not you know i'm just gonna contact her and like tell her and, or, and like show her or whatever and just see how she wants to go about that okay the next topic i have is grief some of you that know me in real life or if you've seen one of my other videos you would know that my grandfather who raised me passed away in april last year so my grief update is most of the time it doesn't feel real i can't believe that like he was basically my dad and he was he based he raised me and i just can't believe that most of the time i feel fine and what I mean by that is like I feel disappointed a lot and I tell myself in my head I every day like I always think about him being gone and it's more like I'm trying to get myself to become sad sometimes it works and it's like I want myself to be sad because I'm like how can you not I guess they say sometimes like you just have guilt it's not that kind of guilt where you're like why did it happen to him and not me it's more of a, a guilt that's like sorry like i'm sorry this happened to you i can't believe this happened to you it's not fair that you wanted to be here and, and you got taken away like i wonder if if you can see us now like are you screaming up there like are you mad that you got taken away i think about stuff like that i'm like he can't be gone like it's just it doesn't feel like he's truly gone but it's also i feel like that's because i moved out almost four years ago so i'm used to not seeing him every day i did feel it a lot more around like december thanksgiving december new year's i felt it more because like i'm so used to seeing him for sure on the holidays and he was always so excited to eat my grandmom's food that she would make and he would be excited for like the Super Bowl. I mean, it's like, I, it's like, I guess I'm okay. I mean, like, I really wish, you know, he was here. And like, it makes me mad a lot. And like, I always, I think about some of the last things he got to say to me. And I just picture, and I just picture myself like punching a hole in the wall. So he was a jokester. Like, he had dark humor too. He would always joke about dying. Like, if he was to die from drinking beer, he would die happy, you know, stuff like that. He would say like if he were if he's gonna die just don't waste money on a coffin just bury him in the backyard like he used to joke like that one time he said just put him in a pine box don't buy a fancy coffin and i just remember a week before he passed away it's like he knew he was gonna pass away but nobody expected it to be a week later when we found out stuff it, we did not expect it to happen like seven days later like what it's just all when i think about it i'm just like what and it like makes me mad because i'm like what like i get i'm really frustrated that's a good way to put it like i'm frustrated and i'm disappointed but one of the things he said to me was it was the morning after we just moved into this house and he was in the hospital and he were my grandma facetimed me and like my granddad said i'm just getting ready for my casket and he was trying to make a joke but then he actually got upset and like i always think about him saying that and i'm like you made that joke and then it okay i'm filming this intro i mean this outro in case i don't come back and finish this part so thank you for watching this video um, don't forget to subscribe turn on my notifications so that when i post a video you get the little ding like i posted a video and then i'll see you at my next video